With doing any type of deep learning, especially when it comes to having images as data, then running your models on a machine with a GPU is essential. Unless we have a gaming machine set up, then chances are we won't have a GPU available to us. However, since deep learning is such a hot topic and cloud computing is getting a lot cheaper, there are several ways in which we can utilize running our code in the cloud on a machine that does have a GPU. There are several ways we can do this, including setting up an Amazon EC2 instance or an Azure VM, but honestly, I don't want to do all that work. I'm not the only one, and there are now several services that offer running code on a GPU. You may have heard of some of them, such as Cressel or Paperspace, but I'm going to show the one I like using, Floyd Hub. I like using Floyd Hub due to it being fairly easy to use to get up and started, that I can upload datasets to it, to it, and I believe the price is pretty good. It's mostly free for my needs. Using the all-important GPU, though, can be why it's not entirely free. To get GPU hours, you can get what they call power-ups, which are a one-time purchase. Right now, you can get 10 standard GPU hours for 12 bucks. That comes out to more than what you may pay for something like Paperspace, but looking at Paperspace, you may have to pay a monthly fee for storage. Personally, I prefer to do a one-time payment than to pay monthly, especially knowing I'm not yet training deep learning models all day every day for work since it's mostly for hobby projects. And once you sign up, the way to get started is to go up top and click New Project. Then just give it a project name. By default, it will be public and you'd have to upgrade your plan to get private projects, but for learning purposes, that's perfectly fine. With the project created, a workspace is now needed. Just click on Create Workspace. Here we have the option to start with a blank workspace, or if there's some code already on GitHub that you want to use, you can specify the GitHub link and it will clone it into a workspace. For this demo, we'll create a blank workspace. Here you can specify if you want TensorFlow or PyTorch to be pre-configured. You can also specify if you want to use a CPU or allow GPU support in the workspace. If you don't have the hours though, then they will be unable to be selected. I'll stay with the default GPU. Now it automatically starts running when you create the workspace. And if we click on it, we'll be taken to a Jupyter Notebook. A couple of cool things they give us here. At the bottom, we have access to TensorBoard if we want to view and debug our TensorFlow models. And it gives us some performance metrics of our environment. How much disk space, CPU, and GPU are we consuming? If we decide that we did want the GPU enabled, we can just set it and restart the workspace. Or if we're done and to stop using our hours, we can just hit shut down. Now, in order to do some training, we need some data. Over on the right here, Floyd Hub lets us attach data to our workspace. And we have access to public data sets, and I can search for some, such as the general data you've most likely seen in machine learning tutorials. For example, the iris data set. Most of the time, we need to use our own data though. The way to upload that to Floyd Hub is to use their CLI. To install their CLI, you can simply use pip install floyd-cli. Now let's say I want to upload this bank.csv file that you can get from the UCI machine learning repository to Floyd Hub. Before we can use the CLI, we must authenticate to Floyd Hub. To do that, type in Floyd login. Instead of having to use your credentials, you can specify the dash dash token flag to pass in a CLI token. And to get that, go back to the Floyd Hub site and at the top right, click the drop down and go to CLI token. And just copy that and paste it into the terminal. Now to upload it, type in Floyd data in it and give it a name. I'll just name this bank. This will pop open a browser to allow you to create the data set. And just click to create it, and it'll say no data found. Going back to the terminal, we can type in Floyd Data Upload to upload the data to Floyd Hub. If we refresh the page in Floyd Hub, the data set is now there. And to start using it in our workspace, let's head back to it. Now we can search for the data and attach it to the workspace. And to show how to use it, I'll create a notebook and use pandas to load in the CSV. 
Floyd Hub gives us the location of where it is, so we can just use that and then append the name of the file. And so that pandas reads it correctly, I'll set the dilemma to semicolon. And now we have our data in Floyd Hub to do analysis or anything else we need to do to it. So that's just a quick video to show how to get started using Floyd Hub. Hopefully this will help you get up and running with it. And I'll see you in the next video.